Early in the year, I wasn't for sure exactly what kind of lineup we were going to have. Um, yeah. You know, we started with Noah Mendel in singles and uh, Eli Franks doubles and a couple different two doubles combinations. Uh, that was probably the first two weeks of the season. Uh, and then I tell you what, I really settled into the lineup. And as far as trying to get the team in the right spot is when we decided to move Mendel back into doubles. That kind of that kind of set the dominoes, uh, you know, rolling a little bit as far as where everybody else was going to fall. Uh, we had to decide on one and two singles and who was going to be in what spot. Uh, and that was decided through challenge matches with uh, Dawson and Eli. Um, you know, and ended up being kind of an incoming freshman, kind of slides into that three single spot naturally. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we, we settled on Hook Sang and, and Mitch Klemper, a sophomore at two doubles, and after giving some of the guys some chances. But uh, the one thing that I think this team has probably done as well as any team we've had is we seem to be playing really good tennis here at the end of the season. Uh, I thought we had a really good win, convincing win over Dubois mm -hmm. in the regional. Uh, I, I thought a lot of guys, for first time in the tournament, were a little nervous. I thought they handled their nerves well. And then we did something on Saturday that we've done the last few years. We played really well on Summer State Saturday. We came in and I thought we got off to a quick start in all of our matches. Um, and then kind of took it took control in three of those five. Um, I hope he had his hands full a little bit, but you know, Eli dropped the first set as well and then came back and won a great two, uh, great three set match. So um, for a bunch of guys that haven't individually accomplished a lot, I mean, they've, none of these guys have been in the state finals before. Uh, I guess Eli has at one doubles, but anybody else hasn't been in the state finals before. These guys have done so well. I mean, I think we're ranked about 12th in the state right now, and and um, I'm really excited and looking forward to, to making the trip up to Indy here on Friday. What kind of team are you going to face in Jefferson, though? Well, we're familiar with them, I and mean, we've played them in a couple of spots. We haven't played them head-to-head. Jeffersonville brings three real nice singles players yeah. and probably a little weaker on the double side right. where we're probably kind of consistent in singles and maybe a little stronger on the double side. So um, Hofi, uh, Dawson has actually played their one player, uh, played him early in the year in a good match. The, the Asplund boy uh, beat him, I want to say two and two, two and one. Uh, but I think that, that Hofi's playing a little bit better now than he was early in the year. Uh, we beat their two doubles, we lost to their two doubles once and we beat their two doubles with the combination that we have now. So we got three matches out there that we don't know a whole lot about, but we do, you know, they get the semestates states played right beside us. So we got to watch them play a little bit. Um, Coach Rame took over for the uh, Hall of Famer, Mark Riley down there and Coach Rame does a great job. So uh, very respectful of what he does. And I, I think you'll one way or the other probably see a 3-2, you know, dogfight down to the nitty gritty, kind of like we did about three years ago when we pulled out that 3-2 match. So uh, it's back at Center Grove, and uh, which is a nice facility, and you've got two teams that, that have had, really had good years. And Jeffersonville's already got a couple good wins under their belt coming into the state, so, uh, but we look forward to the challenge. What's it say about your boys' program here to be going back for a sixth straight year? Well, uh, I, I, think, I think it says that your kids put in a lot of time and, and de are dedicated and committed to what we're trying to do. I think it says the program is strong. Uh, you know, you go back two years ago, and the only guy on the, on the lineup that played was Eli. You go back three years ago, none of these guys played. And so you're taking six out of seven brand new bodies to the state finals. Um, that means you had new guys in positions in the semi state and all that. So it's, it's one of those things that uh, you're very proud of what the program represents and, and how we go about it, and, I, and the working hard and the, and the conditioning we do at the preseason. And, and it's always fun playing tennis in October. and. It's, it's because the boys did it. It's because the boys put in the time and the hard work and, and they've listened and, and been coachable 90% of the time. Let's not say 100% of the time, but they've done a really good job. They've come a long way and we've got some boys that we've talked about only playing tennis for four years and what they've managed to accomplish in four years and how good they've gotten is, is really, is really a, a kudos to them.